Fall is almost here and it's time to start thinking about how you want to decorate for fall and what you might want to DIY for your fall decor. I'm going to share with you six easy and high-end looking fall DIYs using almost entirely Dollar Tree products. I'm Garrett from at Go With Garrett. Let's get into it. For the first DIY, I'm using one of Dollar Tree's metal wreath forms from the floral garden section, and I'm also going to be using some of these adorable pumpkin clips from the seasonal section. I grabbed the pumpkin clips in both a velvet and faux leather material. These were my absolute favorite. They also have other materials in other autumnal colors. As you can see, they have clips already attached to them, which is amazing. It makes them super easy to use, and also it makes the project mess-free because we won't have to use any hot glue. I'm going to start applying the pumpkins to my wreath, starting with the middle section. I'm starting with one of the faux leather pumpkins and clipping it onto the second ring from the middle. I alternated between the faux leather pumpkins and the velvet pumpkins all the way around and immediately you can see the vision coming together on this one. I already love it. The combination of these two orange colors and the different materials, I am just obsessed. From there, I repeated the same process on the outermost ring of the wreath form. Then I finished with the innermost ring, adding as many pumpkins that would fit. Although there are some small gaps that you could definitely fill in with smaller pumpkins or any other type of decorative pieces, I love the simplicity of how this wreath turned out. And since these pumpkins are only clipped on, they can always be moved around or reused for different projects. <laughs> For our second project, I'm using some of these burlap leaves from the fall section. They come in sets of five and also in a few different colors, which I grabbed one pack of each, of course. And I'm also going to be using some Mod Podge in order to turn these pre-cut burlap leaves into small little decorative dishes. In order to do that, I'm also going to use this small glass bowl that I have. And before I get started, I put a piece of aluminum foil onto the bowl so that it doesn't get too messy and so our leaf doesn't get stuck to the bowl. I initially started by making a little mixture of water and Mod Podge to soak the leaf in and that definitely helped to make the leaf a little more flimsy so that it would take the shape of the bowl better. But I wanted to make sure that the leaf got a very firm finish so that it didn't end up flattening out again. So I went back in and poured some Mod Podge onto the leaf while it was draped over the bowl and used a paintbrush to basically paint it all over the leaf. Once it was dried, I carefully removed the tin foil from the leaf and was left with this adorable miniature leaf dish that has so much character and whim to it. Project number three, I am using one of Dollar Tree's carvable styrofoam pumpkins. These are very easy to cut into and they are also hollow on the inside, which I didn't realize at first, but I'm going to cut a hole around the top using my Fisker's detail knife. Once I had my hole cut, the top of the pumpkin popped right on out and I wanted to give the pumpkin a quick, simple makeover so I recently got some of this terracotta spray paint by Bear. It comes in a flat finish and I was eager to try it so I thought this was the perfect project to do it. Giving the pumpkin this terracotta clay look really elevated the piece already and I of course had to add some Dollar Tree faux florals which I've actually had these for over two years now but I love them and they totally complete this project. For DIY number four, I'm excited to be using some of Dollar Tree's nautical rope. Although it is indeed nautical rope, it just gives me total fall vibes, so I think it's perfect for this. I'm going to make an easy little rope bowl to hold some of our fall decor. So I'm using another glass bowl that I have on hand to shape our bowl, and I started by adding a little hot glue to the end of the rope, and I started to fold the rope onto itself, creating as round of a shape as we can, and from there it is just super simple, continuing to add hot glue around 
around the edges and once I got down to the side of the bowl I flipped it right side up just to make it a little easier to finish the rest. Once I reached the top of the bowl with rope I removed the glass bowl and glued down the remaining rope and this project is really as easy as that. I used three packs of rope total for this project. It's such an easy way to add some warmth and texture to your space. Perfect for fall. DIY number five is one of my favorites because I love a good garland and that is exactly what we'll be making using some more of these Dollar Tree pumpkin clips. These are actually the muted pumpkin clips and to begin this project we're going to remove the clips from the bottoms as well as the stems from the tops of 12 pumpkins. Once that was done, I took my electric screwdriver and used a drill bit to drill a small hole all the way through each pumpkin. That way we can string them onto our garland much more easily. You could definitely try other ways, but I felt that this would be the easiest for me. From there, I grabbed this hemp cording that I already had on hand and the strand of wooden beads I picked up from the Dollar Tree Crafter Square. I unwound a pretty long strand of the hemp cording and then cut that off and tied a knot on one end to keep our beads on, of course, as we apply them. And then I added some tape to the other end to keep it from fraying as it slides through each bead. I started the garland by adding 12 of the wooden beads. And then I was ready to add one of my pumpkins. Now in order to get the cording through the pumpkin, I found that I had to tape it to a sewing needle and push the needle all the way through the pumpkin as far as I could. And then I used a pair of needle nose pliers to grab the needle and pull it on through. I repeated this same pattern of 12 wooden beads and one pumpkin until I felt the garland was long enough. So I only ended up using nine of the original 12 pumpkins. Once I had the garland tied off on the other end, I used my terracotta spray paint by Bear to take this garland to the next level and give it a high-end look. I also popped each of the stems back into the top and I love how this turned out. For our sixth DIY project, we're going to make our very own fall candle by repurposing some of these tall orange candles from Dollar Tree. I started by getting some hot water boiling on the stove. I turned down the heat a little before I placed the candle into the water. While the candle starts to melt, I went ahead and got the new candle vessel ready. I grabbed this from Hobby Lobby while it was 40% off. It's actually a cup and marker holder that you could use at a party where you would place a stack of cups inside and a marker goes in the little hole so that people can write their names on their cups but I thought it would also make a perfect candle so I peeled off this little piece on the front and I laid down a piece of parchment paper on the counter in case things got messy but once the candle had fully melted I used a fork to scoop out the wick and transfer it over to the new vessel I made sure it was centered in the wooden bowl and I used a wooden dowel to keep the wick standing straight up I put on these handy dandy gloves my mom got off of QVC to grab the melted candle out of the hot water and carefully poured it into its new bowl. I ended up using two of these orange candles for this and I wanted to add a little something extra just to try it so I grabbed this pack of leaf confetti from Hobby Lobby which was also 40% off and once the wax had set for a few minutes I carefully placed a few of these leaves on top of the wax just to give it a little more fall character and of course for me this is 100% meant to be decorative only and I won't be burning this. I'm not sure how safe that would be, but this was more so an adventure in creativity for me. Did it turn out perfect? No, but that's the fun of DIYing, getting to make your own stuff, even if it doesn't turn out perfect. At least we're having fun and we can say we made it ourselves.
All right, y'all, that wraps up this fall DIY video. I hope you enjoyed it. I had so much fun making each of these projects. Let me know which one was your favorite in the comments. And if you have a specific type of DIY or a specific type of video that you would like to see here on my channel, let me know about that in the comments as well. Before you head out, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I share affordable DIYs, home decor, and other home-related content, and I would love to have you join me. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see y'all in the next one.